Two. What's up, everybody? It's Daryl with Trophy Seekers Outdoor. Oh, today, we're going to be playing with matches. That's right. They let me have matches. I know you can't believe that, but that's all right. We are. I've got a different show. We're not fishing. We're not hunting. We're going to be seeing if I can shoot that little match with this gamo air gun. That's right. I've owned this little thing for about 10 years now. If you're shooting with these little pellets, it's a point .177 pellet. Maybe you can see that in my hand there. And with the lead ones, this thing shoots a thousand foot per second. It's the gamo whisper. I said thousands per second. Now, would you ask me, are you crazy? Could you even shoot that good? I said, probably not, but we're going to try it anyway. So that's what we're going to do. And I'll just be honest with you guys. I've shot this video already, and the dang camera didn't work. And you ain't going to believe this, but I shot the match on the first shot. And the video's gone. And then it took me about 15 shots, and I shot another one. But I did. And I was so frustrated, but I was like, you know what, we're going to do it anyway. So we're going to try it again, see if I can hit a dang, well, this dang match. We're going to be about 15 yards away. No, we're not doing a 100-yard shot. It's a pellet gun, guys. It's not no dang 357 Magnum or a dang 30 out 6. It's a pellet gun. And you got to remember one thing. That pellet is almost half the size of a 22 pistol. So when we're shooting... This small of a lead, at this small of a match, it's harder than shooting with a 22 rifle, to be honest with you, because we only have just a small circumference to hit that thing with. So, but we're going to try it. So you got to stick around. We're going to do some other stuff besides that, but we're going to try to shoot this match. We also got to try and sight this gun in. So you guys hang on. We're going to sight the gun in because I hadn't shot it for about two weeks because I thought we had the video and we didn't. So. Hang on, let's try to sight this thing in and see if we can shoot a match or two. All right, guys, we've got the target down there. I don't know, you probably, you may not can see the match, but you can see the video camera that's uh, on it. We've got a GoPro that's on the match right there. Uh, the backdrop back there. I have a white piece of, of styrofoam back there that helps me actually see the match a little bit better. What helps me with that match, it has a red tip on it and then that's a white background. Uh, if I lift it up, it's sort of woodsy back there and it makes it a little hard for me to see. So I've got that white background back there. So we're gonna load up and shoot. Let's try this. We may be here all day, but we're gonna try it. I use this sweatshirt because on this hard plastic table, it, it rubs my elbow, gets my elbow sore, so that's the only reason I use that. <sighs> Gotta get my chair set. I say we're just gonna shoot offhanded. Uh, like I say, anybody can shoot this thing if they put it in a gun vise. I feel like you know I've got the table I'm sitting on, but I'm I'm shooting offhanded totally. Let's see what we can do here, guys. And we missed. And we missed. Uh, about to jump on the lens. My eyes are so sweaty. I can't hardly see down through there. Trying to get some fluid out. Uh, it's a real hot day. We sh I'm shooting in the woods, so it doesn't show as much light as out. But, uh, let's try this again. Let's see if I can bring it in a little closer.
Well, it took me six minutes because that's how long the camera was. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did it twice in that six minutes, though. I clipped it and then I glue it right off. I shot way right on that and I, I let it move. Take my time, slow down just a little bit. Wind's starting to get up too. Have we got plenty of battery, Woody? Yes. If we're not, we got another camera. It's done, it's guys. A, it's a that did it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know, five or six shots. She's gone. Good shot. Good shot. Woo! Guys, I tell you what, that's a, that'll show you how a gamo is right there. I thought I seen it disappear. I thought, did I get it or not? But I got her. You gonna bring that camera yeah. up here, Woody? You gonna leave it all in the same shot here? Actually, I shot it right at the bottom, but I did get it. Uh, Woody, can you bring that up? I want to show how close those pellets came through here. Shoot through here. I got one, two, three, four, five, six pellet shots there. And like I said, I was shooting a little low, and because when I was shooting, I was hitting a little high. I should have just stayed up on it, but guys, there it is. One match shot. Done, guys. <laughs> Pretty hard to do at 15 yards, and uh, and I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people say, "Oh, I can do it all day," and probably can. But heck, I'm pretty proud of it. 58 years old, I've got enough eyesight and steadiness to hit it. So let's do some more things, y'all guys. Want to? Let's let's get out here. We're gonna try a couple other things that uh, I got in mind. So you stick, hang on, guys, and we're gonna get everything set back up and try something else. All right, guys. So what we're gonna try now is I've backed probably 40 yards out and I've got this little dirt clod here and you can see it's about the size of my thumb so we're gonna do that but first off hand you gotta know what your guns doing that has a lot to do with when you're trying to shoot stuff so I need to know at 40 yards how much my gun drops so what we're gonna do is what if you can follow me up here I've got a dot here the size of my pinky Right here, I've got a, a dot the size of my pinky. And I'm going to back up to that 40 yards. And I'm going to shoot three shots at it. And I'll know how much drop or if it's straight on to shoot at that dirt clod. I say, it's only shooting a 1,000 feet a second. So it's going to drop. So let's go see how much it's going to drop. All right, guys. So uh, went out there and looked. I'm shooting just a little high still uh, right here at this distance also. So I'm going to first shot put it right at the bottom of the clod and let's see what happens uh, so I'm shooting a little right so I'm gonna shoot the left hand corner and at the bottom see if we can explode it without hitting a little GoPro out there too let's see what we can do so we're gonna do it freehand just like we was out hunting you know if you're shooting out of a vice all the time and you go out hunting you, and you start trying to shoot freehand how good are you so let's see what we can do Didn't do worth flip at all. Uh, 
<laughs> I finally brought it down. I got my sights level and brought it down uh, just on the left corner of it and down below the table about an inch and a half. That's the most I'd came down. And finally got it, guys. I should have sighted this thing in. It took, what, about 12 shots to hit it? Uh, we won't show you all of it, but... Uh, wow. Well, I said I should have just went on back and sighted it in. It was sighted in at 15 yards, and I said, this is a long ways back. And evidently, the the arch at where I met at 15 yards hadn't gotten in there yet, so I was pretty much on. But as you back out, that arch gets higher, and so that bullet wasn't coming down. It actually was it's still going up. I hope if people know a lot about guns, knows that when a bullet comes out of a gun, it starts up at an arch before it actually starts back down. And so we're in that, probably pretty close to the peak of that arch. We back back up, it, it, up to 10 yards, it'd probably drop a little bit more. But. All right, that one was harder than I thought. It was harder than the matches. But like I say, the gun, it was it sighted in at 15 yards, and then you drop back close to 40 yards. And it, it really changed. I really thought I could uh, make up for it with holding it up and down because I do it a lot hunting. Uh, but I've got a lot bigger target when I'm hunting. If I'm shooting at a deer that's 300 yards away and I'm going to, you know, and I'm 200 yards, I'm sighted at 200, I'm putting it parallel with the top of his back. So I've got something to put them at the crosshairs. When you got something the size of a quarter, you're almost tripling the distance. It makes a difference. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. We're going to come back with some more different stuff, uh, some crazy stuff like we always are. Come with you some more hunting videos when hunting season gets here. It's just around the corner. And a lot more fishing videos always. Till then, guys, hit the subscribe. Hit the little bell that tells you, hey, when uh, we come out with a video, leave a comment. Let us know what you thought about it. Give us some ideas of some things you'd like to see us do. Guys, I'm crazy. I'll do, I'll do it all. So uh, let us comment. Let us know what you'd like to see in shooting. I've got all different type guns, different calibers. So, uh. Give us something you like, some ideas, and we'll try them out if we can. See you next time.